Previously on Paranormal Hong Kong. Did I just screw myself? I think I might have. And so the journey continues. This video is sponsored by Christoph Frey. For excellent poly horror games, check the link in the description below for some of his works. What's up, y'all? Boogie Knight here, and apparently we have a key. Anyways, and welcome back to Paranormal Hong Kong. When we last left off Locke, we had our new dealings with a new antagonist, uh, one that goes by the name, I want to say Ling. Um, bear with me one second, I'm just looking to see if we picked up everything, because apparently we picked up a key. Okay, I think we picked up everything. Anyway, so we um, ran into a new enemy, Ling, as always known as the Spider Demon, because, well, why not? Let's just throw my arachnophobia into the mix. Uh, we're still chasing down Kathy, and when we last left off, we also had lost one of our buddies. Um, I forget his name. Do we already look at this? The Tomb Beast is an ancient artifact. It is used to protect the peace of the dead soul. Owns the power to expel evil thoughts. Study of Chinese Ancient Rituals, Book 3. Oh, hey! So we have uh, gotten up to speed so far. We still are missing one note. That's kind of irksome. We also apparently have a key, but right now what I want to start off with is this puzzle. That at, I noticed at the end of it, it is we have to, it looks like, line all of these, they look like candles up, so when we did that we would be swapping that, so I'm guessing this is probably like a flower, well, it looks like a vase, so it looks like the t the shortest of these candle things need to go on the edges with the longer ones in the middle, but I'm probably wrong because this big galoot is massive. But let's go ahead and let's just see what happens. Okay. This might get sped up, I'm not sure. So that one looks about right. And this one maybe down here? <clears throat> that looks a little bit, okay. So, boop. Let's take a look at this. Definitely not. We're making progress. No. Uh. Okay, we're making. Uh, we need to see where these tall ones go. That's the first thing first. That's a big one. Yeah, this is all over the place. Um, I feel like this is the length we need to have because this one seems to match up reasonably with that, or it could be these seem pretty well matched up too. Definitely not. Alright, so with that being said, let's keep the post sonic and I will see you guys on the other side. <sighs> and there we go. Didn't take too long either. All right, cool. Um, so that's good. Uh, oh, hey, some there's something in it. There we go. So it's a comma-shaped bead with creamy color. Yeah, let's take a closer look at that. Okay, is that going to go over here? Quite possibly. Something is missing. Did we add it? Oh yeah, there it is right there in the middle. Okay, we're good with that. Brilliant. Um, so, now that we've got a key to the second floor, let's see if we can put it to use. Um, but let's, let's just kind of go over here one more time. And is that there already? A jade comma shape beat. I, I'm sure we could have... I'm sure we looked at that in the la at the end of the last time. Maybe we had to solve the first puzzle to trigger it? Uh, let's just give it one more time, one more look over before we do anything else. 
Uh, it looks like a gentleman playing a Shemisen. I'm pretty sure I said that right. Could be wrong, but I do love the movie Kuba on the two strings. Can't play the piano. Okay. Still dark outside. Now, I wonder if, like, Ling is Kathy in a former life. Uh, does this sound like... Yeah, second... Well, second floor key, so derpy twit. Yeah, I'm enjoying this, and hopefully y'all are as well. I know horror's not everybody's thing, but I think... Oh, hang on, I'll get to you in a moment. Okay, so that is the door there. Hey, perfect fit. Right on. Um, what is this? The spotlight is rusted and stuck. Okay, we got a spotlight. <clears throat> um, is that Ling? Anyways, yeah, I wonder if Kathy was Ling in a former life. I don't know. Oh, that's really cool, the shadow effect. I mean, I know we have a body, but we really didn't have too much chance to look at the shadow effect too much. Some uh, traditional dancers, maybe? Uh, anything over here? Nope. Um, it's getting really dark. I don't like that uh, concept. Okay. Uh, is there anything in the cage? Or maybe the de uh, the drawers? Is that a croquet set? It's hard to tell. Uh, anything in here? No. <clears throat> anything outside? Hopefully Ling won't come back and absolutely destroy us with her puppet face. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just gonna. Keep. I'm gonna plant. Uh, okay. Keep thinking one of these doors are gonna work, but I don't think it's the case. Um. Oh, hang on, stupid mouse. I gotta get a new mouse pad at some point. And, my computer is really showing its age. Oh, uh, get your bingo cards out, Boogie. Now he's complaining about us. Is there somebody back there? It looks like something's flickering behind there. Hang on. Kathy? Wing? You? Okay, I think it's just the lighting effect of um, Unreal. Okay. Once again, you can probably tell by looking at the walls here and the floors, this uh, kind of a very shiny, almost wet look to it. I've only noticed that's the case with um, Unreal. I haven't noticed it with Cry. I haven't noticed it with... Um, I definitely haven't noticed it with Unity. I kind of feel like that's a staple of Unreal, but I could be wrong. Okay, we have a door, and it looks like there's something here. Blue, white, red, yellow. Um, hang on. Let me write this down. Let's get that figured out. Uh, blue, B, W, R, Y. Okay. Zero, 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 one, or zero, zero, nine? Nope. Okay. Um, okay. Looking for colors. Um, let's kind of see some red flags. I guess it's more pink. Uh, two. So let's look. Just look for things on the wall. It's a lot of red. Um. No. Uh, hang on. Maybe I missed something. Let's go back here for a moment. <clears throat> uh, oh, hang on. Somebody's been watching Seinfeld, because we've got the reverse uh, fisheye lens here. <laughs> now you can look inside, Jerry. You see what I'm doing all day. But I don't want to do that! <laughs> okay, so... I guess that's contention on the mask here. So blue, we have one, two, four, six. White, we have two. Red, we have one, two, five, it looks like. And yellow, three. One, two, four, six, six, two, five, three. Okay, let's try that out.
There we go. Nope. Six, two, five, three. Uh, maybe. Let's try on. Um, uh, six, two, five, no, six, two, five, three. Oh, I got that. Hang on. Um, what are we looking at? Um, no, jeez, God, you stupid spider creature. You know, that did, that did get me. Um, go, 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 go. Oh, okay, what? What? Oh. what the? What? The spotlight is... Oh, hang on. Didn't... Wasn't there a note saying she doesn't like being in the spotlight anymore? Oh, no, she does like being in the spotlight. Apparently not anymore, though. Okay, that jump scare was good. I will say that. That definitely got me. That was, that was well done, developers. I will give you credit for that. Can we leave now? I need some tools to make it open. Great. Can we just, like, pick that up now? I guess not. There we go. Okay, so we're out of run mode. I kind of want to keep my distance to see if Spider Bitch pops up. Yeah, that, that was easily one of the better jump scares I have seen. I did not foresee that happening, and that was well-timed. Because people are looking to count how many... It, it's... I don't think either any, any of you guys remember this, but at least people that went to, like, school, whether it's primary school, high school, college, high university, and, like, the early 2000s, it was it, look at this puzzle and long enough and you'll see what's wrong with it or count how many times you find such and such and it changes to a screaming bloody face. The number of times I have been hello have been trolled by that damn thing. This was on par with that because we're so focused on the masks we do not see it when spider person just throws us for a loop. And you guys suck. Thanks for not telling me. Um... I think these dudes, I think my parents actually have these statues as minis on their, um, one of their tables. Okay. Is that a Shemisen as well? Uh, okay, so we got some drums. What are, we are looking for, oh, hang on, we got a screwdriver. Okay, and then we have, uh, it's as red as blood. Okay. Green jade, red jade. The tomb beast is an ancient artifact. Okay. Tomb Beasts. Okay. Interesting. Uh, is that all we have in our inventory? No, we still have our ID badge. Okay. So we can use the Jade and bring that back to the thing and maybe that'll be the end of it? Maybe... I'm just gonna go ahead and just 23 could do on back. Good lord. Just when you think you expect everything out of a horror game, this one just hucks it back in your face. Hey, and we lost the screwdriver. Hooray! I mean, we could just jam it in her mouth. I mean, that would be nice. Can we? Can we shut that? Actually, hang on. No. Okay. Yeah, I love this area. I really do love the fact that this was actually placed in Kowloon Walled City. Um, I know once again that I've talked about a little. Ugh, it was just that. I mean, because this was, for all intents and purposes, the Walled City was a governmentless area of Kowloon when it was surrendered, um, when the the British gave it back to China. Um, Kowloon was already a massive area to begin with, so the Walled City was completely... There was an inability to get any kind of governmental presence there, and that's why it fell to the triads, into the gangs, into the drug lords. Um, 
So the fact that this was demolished, you know, shortly after this game is allegedly taking place, I think that's just really cool. It just changes the whole dynamic of where something shot because there's history behind it. All right, so hey, what kind of kind of looks a little bit like a yin yang or some kind of um triketra? Well, that's Celtic. Um, some real to real tapes. Another statue. Anything on the table? Nope, but there's something in here next to the cigarettes. We'll get to that in a moment. I'm looking for more reading material because I'm still pissed off about that. Uh, okay. Gold rim, gold wire rim glasses with an amber decoration. Okay. Or we're just going to put them on. That's cool too. Oh, fortune teller's glasses. I don't have any more notes we can pick up. Okay. Oh! Okay, so there, there's footprints on there, and... Oh, that's cool! Look at the outer edges of that, kind of picking up things, and... Hello. There be... Ghosts or memories sitting here? Um... Just follow the footsteps, I guess. We've already picked that up. Um... Uh, hang on. Oh, <laughs> Stupid table. Blocking my progress. Um. Oh, hello. Hang on. Or that's... Oh, that's cool! So we... Nope, the ghosts are still there. Okay. I'm gonna just go ahead and drop into Crouch, because I don't know if, like, Spider Lady, a.k.a. Ling, or not Kathy, is gonna jump out again. That would kind of suck. Okay. Whoa. Okay. That was cool. I like that. And it's nice to hear achievement unlocked. San Gong Hei or San Gong Hai. I'll have to look that up. I apologize if I'm completely butchering it. Once again, I I do want to apologize if the way I'm pronouncing things is stilted and completely incorrect. That is not my intention. Um, what are we looking for? Can we go around a corner here? It appear we can. Let's go. What is this? Um, free ticket. G2. Hang on. Give me that. Files updated. Hey, cool. Look at that. We're doing things in order. What is this? Something is... Wait, hang on. Is that... Is that the... Oh, what was it called? Um... I saw that in the apartment. Hang on one moment. Oh, I could have sworn we had that we looked at this earlier. No, okay. Yeah, this is definitely from previous episodes. I just forget what the sodding thing is called. Well, if something's missing, then we I guess we have to retrieve it. It'll come to us. Uh hang on. G2. Okay. Um, okay. Yarp, let me go around the corner here. And see... Oh, oh. oh, it was just the door for a second. I thought that... Uh, what's it called? I thought there were one second there was somebody standing there. Um... Oh, hang on. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, G2. Um, hang on, um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. We just, no, we can't. Um, what are we looking for then? So something's missing. 
I want us to know about G, though. Is something around here? Hang on. Uh, what? Oh, there, there something is. There's Bagua symbol on it. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I did some brief research on the Bagua, and it's eight Taoist symbols. Um, now, I don't know much about Tao or Taoism. I, I've heard both pronunciations. Um, but it basically, the yin-yang symbol is basically kind of like the centerpiece. Um, it's kind of like, oh gosh... I don't. I don't really know the basics, but it is basically. Uh, I don't know it in its entirety, but Bagua is an actual symbol similar to the yin yang, where there's eight different symbols um, that form up to the Bagua. That's about as much as I know. Kind of like the five um, parts of a pagan uh, star, like that kind of thing. It, similar in that, but obviously not like in an elemental fashion. It's more of principles or maybe similar to a Buddhist noble truth. Um, once again, I do not know 100% off the top of my head, so I'd rather not give false information, but that's kind of what I think it was. I could be wrong. I probably am. So let's just move along. Um, okay. What the? Now what? What? Oh, cat. Or not. Just run through this. Um. Well, that took a turn. Hang on, what is this? Oh, okay. Um. I'm getting boss arena vibes. Definitely getting boss arena vibes. Um. One spotlight, another spotlight. Do we have a? Th we got a third one over here. Hang on. Are we going to have to play with Ling? Oh, dude, look at that! It actually has the Bagua symbol on it, the Yin Yang. Um, actually, okay. So this is gonna bother me. So I'm gonna just quickly pull up the Bagua. So, I can at least prove or disprove the fact that I might have nerfed it. Okay, so the Bagua, or Pakua, or Palgoy, in, which is Korean, eight symbols, okay, not five, um, or eight symbols used in Taoist cosmology to represent the fundamental principles of reality, uh, seen as a range of eight interrelated concepts. Each, bro each consists of three lines, each line either, quote, broken or, quote, unbroken, uh, respecting, respectively representing yin or yang. Uh, okay, yeah. So that's the basics of that. So I knew it was Taoist, but I wasn't sure of what the overall concept behind it. So, okay, cool. But once again, if you want to give feedback and insight, uh, I would always love to hear your feedback on what that kind of thing is. So I've got a bad feeling about this. So let me have a sip of water, and then we'll get this party started, because I think something bad is going to happen now. <clears throat> okay. Nothing at all. Um, where's Kathy then? Got a Bagua here. Rotate the beam. But I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I'm scared to go in the middle of the ring, y'all. I, I feel like I'm gonna get just trounced. I mean, look at these cobwebs. It's kind of. Oh, hang on. It's locked. Maybe I should ha take a look on stage. Huh? <laughs> I could have said that same thing, Locke, with all due respect, bud. Um, yeah. The Ling's definitely gonna have some fun here. She's, there's cobwebs everywhere. Um, now we can... Why can we activate it now? She's coming, watch out. Um, oh, hang on. Um, go, 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 go. This is the closest one. Try and keep her in the light. Oh, 
Ah, eat it, you cheeky git. Is this gonna be one of these time tested things where I have to keep, like, starting this back up? Apparently so. What is going on, too? Okay, um. Better safe than sorry. So this is apparently our only. Where is she? Eat it, Bagwa. There. I, I saw you up there, you stupid bitch. There she is. Oh, she got a little bit too close for comfort on that one now. Ugh, that sound she makes. Just bad. I, so this... Okay, so we did see the symbols in the apartment, that the moving things. What the... Okay, it just stopped. That ain't good. Go, 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 go. I see you up there. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. Get back where you belong. Let's go. Stay in the corner. Stupid spiders. Why is it always spiders? Oh. God. Just give me a spy hander and let me just smack her like a weighty bit of old pipe or something from uh, Condemned. Never thought I'd see the day where I missed the days of trench coat Jesus. No! What? Ah, come on, game. Okay. So we really do have to watch out where she's dropping. Okay, I don't see her, so we're just gonna go ahead go back to where we came. <laughs> so you have to watch the ceiling. I was just going back to the original spot, but she could drop anywhere. Here off to the right. Yeah. I think I nerfed this. Yep, nerfed. Interesting. Um, let's try that again. Maybe we do two on the right, then we switch it over to the left. Okay, she's going around the top. I don't know if that's RNG or not. She might follow a set path. Yep, I see you there, cheeky git. We're gonna try something. So, we'll do the first two. And then we'll go to the other corner, and we'll just see if it is RNG or not. But we have to watch the ceiling. I completely nerfed that. I was going way too into my safekeeping area. Okay, so she's coming up to the right. She's creeping across the top. What? Oh, that's frustrating. Okay, she's going up to the left. Yeah. 
Okay, let's keep our eyes on the ceiling. How many times? Just going up to the left. Okay, two for two, but we got into trouble on the third one. What are we doing with this, too? I don't understand. Coming around to the left. I might have nerfed this. Nope. Come on, 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 come on. Whatever this device is, finish the stupid thing. What? Or the whole place is on fire. That's cool. Not really. What is this device? Um. Uh, I'm gonna look. I'm not sure. This is confusing. I'll be honest with y'all. I'm not sure what that is all entailing. Uh, okay. Cool. Just steer clear of the flames. Well, the door is open now. Oh, there's um, that symbol that we saw up on the plinth. Cool, so maybe we can now just get out of here and hello, Ling. Goodbye, Ling. Just gonna go ahead and give you the wide berth for a hot minute, because, uh, yeah, hot. See what I did there? <laughs> you get it? There's smoke, there's fire, hot. <laughs> okay, let's just go. What? I can't run. Okay, I need my flashlight on. Uh, can we run now? Because I'm kind of afraid Ling is going to come back to kill us. What? We're... Hang on. Are we? Where are we? We're in a new area. Where are we? Hang on. Um... Not going there yet. Let's retrace our steps for a moment and see what we do. Uh, what is this? Oh, hello. Wait, are we are we back at the news agency? And apparently, it's been trashed. Um, yeah, let's get some coffee. I know it's a vending machine. Take a sodding cup of coffee. Um, we look. Oh, hang on. What is this? The cursed camcorder. There, it, do we have this already? What do we do? Hang on. Oh, I thought for a second that it might have been the missing note. Okay, sorry. Um, the cursed camcorder. There is a mystery camcorder with nice conditions on a second-hand trading web. The buyer disappeared soon after the deal was made. Here is the rumor about this camcorder. This camcorder is cursed because it recorded its owner being torched and murdered. Possibly by Ling? Um, any place being shot by this camcorder would be duplicated and linked together in another dimension. 
Anyone being shot by this camcorder will complete will completely lost in that dimension. Hang on. Um. So it's kind of like the ring. Another dimension, a little Twilight Zone action. Interesting. Um. We've been playing for about 30 minutes or so. Let's just kind of get one more lay of the land, and then I think we'll call it night. Okay, Locke must have, like, the bladder of a camel. After everything that he's run into... I kind of want that painting, actually. That, that looks really cool. The tree, black and white, that looks like very atmospheric. I, I enjoy that. Locked. I'm guessing we have to go in here. So we're going to go here first. Into the conference room. I bet we need to have the camcorder because I think that's probably what happened to Ahoy who died at the hands of, I think it was Ling or somebody or not Kathy. This is clever. A little vague other than the fact we're just chasing Kathy. Like, I kind of wish we had more to go on. Get out of the way, boy. Hey, we are back in our ransack newsroom. Everything okay there? Serial killer, yar, yar, uh, toil. Okay. I was going to say hi to the Cantillanac, but... Uh, let's go look at our desk quickly. My computer. Let me sit down. Something fell over here, so I kind of feel... What are we looking for? We're looking for a key of some kind. Maybe it's on the other desk again? Hang on. Um, herp a derp 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 derp. Uh, no. Lots of stuff. Maybe it's unlocked now? Hang on. Be nice if we could run. Nope, still locked. It's gotta be in here somewhere. But... I think... This might be as good of a place as any to stop since we're between areas. Give me just one more second and then I'll phone it in. Something fell over here. We could jump, that'd be nice. Of course, it could just be a scare tactic. Um, somebody loves their toys. Not like that, you freaking pervs. What about you, Toil? You want to help me out here? What about you, Kintilinac? What's back here? I just... Ugh, I don't know. Yeah, I think... This is probably as good of a place as any to stop. Like, well, I see this eye constantly. Is it kind of like the evil eye being warned off? I mean, they're boom, boom. There's a myriad of them. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and just phone it in for tonight. Um, it is getting kind of late. And I do have to be up in good time for work things tomorrow. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, how do you like the story? How do you like the jump scares? How do you like the fear factor? Let me know. Um, I'd love to read, get your feedback. And I do read every comment, and I try to reply to every comment. Uh, also, as always, a big thank you to Christoph Frey for being a sponsor of the Boogie Night Project. If you like low-poly horror games with an emphasis on fear factor, on ambience, character development, uh, just... Overall, just amazing plot points and just a well put together game. Links in this, sorry, links in the description below. Uh, I guarantee you will not be let down. So, of course, with that being said, before I call it a night, if you like the Boogie Nate Project and you want to find out more, I do have a Twitter page as well as a public Discord channel, and links to both of those are in the description below, as well as a link to my temporarily defunct Twitch page. And hey, if you are interested in supporting the Boogie Night Project, aside from the likes and subscriptions and shares that people keep doing, um, which my gra my gratitude knows no bounds whatsoever, but the op stop it. But in the off chance you do want to do more, I do have a Patreon, where it's for as little as a dollar a month, 
Uh, you get access to exclusive content such as the patron only section of my Discord as well as patron exclusive uploads. Uh, I'm currently on my second bout. Um, am I going to get jumped? I am, aren't I? Do we, have a, we don't have a reflection. Thanks, game. No. <laughs> I mean, I think... I don't know if that's a side effect of Unreal. I never really noticed any reflection, reflections on Unreal. Uh, I'm looking for something. Anything in the urinals? You have to go in the other bathroom now? Well, so much for me uh, stopping. Okay, it's in here. So it's in here somewhere. Uh, anything in the bed? In the bin? No. Sinks? No. It's got to be here in the toilets. Or it could just be another scare tactic. I don't see anything. Okay, yeah, so for as little as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive content, such as the patron-only section of my Discord and patron-only uploads. I am currently working on our second intonation of games. We've had one awesome one so far, and this second one is off to a good start. And I do ask for my patrons to pick the game uh, they want to see next. So, yeah, if, that's, if you're interested in doing a little bit more, of course, never any pressure, that's the best way to do it. So otherwise, I hope you all have a fantastic night, and I will catch y'all on the flip side of right? Peace. Hey, y'all. While my gratitude knows no bounds for every single bit of love and support y'all have shown for me over the years, there are a few people that I legitimately want to take a few minutes to thank for their unending help and support. Uh, first of all, obviously, Christoph Frey, not just for being a sponsor of the Boogie Night Project, but also for letting me use his music from Gabba Transistor for in my streams, as well as him kind of coming up with his own little fragment for my new introduction to um, the Boogie Night Project. And speaking of introductions, the intro, as well as my YouTube banner page, um, were done by the amazing Oren. You might know him as Oren VDK, as well as Oren from Couple K. Thank you so much, Oren. I really do appreciate the time you took to put together everything from the banner to the beautifully done introduction that merged perfectly with Kristoff's music from Gabba Transistor. So big thank you to them. And also, this would not be possible with the help of my extremely amazing patrons, both current and former, uh, such as Lexi Kitty, Silverleaf, Barry Grave, Harkov, Jeray, Larian, and Oren, as well as a few others that have come and gone over the years. Y'all well, this would not be possible without your help and your support. Um, I know I have not been able to provide much in the way of um, uh, giving back in Patreon rewards, but I am in the process of revamping my Patreon as well as the rewards that I can do, so be prepared. Um, I know I joke about it, uh, saying that if you're morbidly fascinating, check it out, but if you do want to give um, to the Boogie Night Project, that is the easiest way to do so, and I am legitimately setting aside funds to buy more hardware for my computer, as well as making things look more professional but once again, very big thank y'all to everybody who has supported me from the beginning all the way to the present, um, as well as those individuals that have gone out of their way to help. So once again, guys, thank you so much for all your constant love and support. My gratitude knows no bounds, and I'll catch you on the flip side. All right. Peace.